Our top focus as of now, four days after the former Chinese president Hu Jintao was unexpectedly led out of the CPC meeting, there is a new video that has now surfaced. The new footage from the Chinese Communist Party Congress has raised further more questions about why exactly Hu might have been escorted out of the Congress Hall. The video released by Channel News Asia shows the outgoing Politburo member Li Zanshu pulling away a file from Hu Jintao and conveying something to the former Chinese president while not letting him see the contents of the file. And soon after, the Chinese president Xi Jinping gazes over to his left and signals for nearby aides. The file was then taken away and Hu Jintao is then hauled out of the Congress room before being escorted out of the party Congress. The former president attempts to have a final word with Xi, but the Chinese president looks on at the entire commotion while it was taking place. Hu Jintao then finally pats the outgoing premier, Li, on the shoulder and leaves the Great Hall of the People. It is, however, unclear as to why he was forcibly removed from the closing ceremony. According to Chinese media, the former Chinese president was escorted out because he was feeling unwell. The incident has not been broadcast in China and whose name was effectively scrubbed from the internal internet. Not only this, the name of whose son has also been blocked by the Chinese censors, further sparking questions about whether there had been some kind of dispute over his position within the CPC. And for more analysis, we are now being joined by Lynn O'Donnell, who is an author and journalist, as well as an expert on China politics. Lynn, thanks for joining us. Now, it is still unclear as to why Hu Jintao was forcibly removed from the closing ceremony. What's your assessment of the situation? Well, you know, uh, Chinese politics are incredibly opaque and the party itself is very secretive. So it's really quite difficult to do more than really guess at what happened and we'll probably never really know. Different stories have been coming out. Um, the, uh, the reports that Hu Jintao was sick, um, who knows, he's nearly 80, he may well have been and he's uh, physically frail. Um, and then the video that has emerged um, in the last day or so showing a little bit of Vaji Baji over the documents that were in front of him, it looked to me uh, like he wasn't prepared to be uh, led out. Nobody else on the podium turned around and looked at him like you would imagine people would do if they had a, a colleague who was sick and being led off. It would be take care of yourself. Um, I think that uh, what's happening um, in my in my own personal view, just making the, the guess that everybody else is in the position of making, is that this has been a purge. Xi Jinping has used the uh, Congress to consolidate power and the people that he has appointed to the uh, most important decision-making positions are long-term supporters and party ideologues. He's consolidated power around himself. What Hu Jintao represents is a more open, um, more internationalised China. Uh, during his 10 years in power, he was a lot more um, easygoing with uh, freedom of speech and um, uh, expression. And that's all been clamped down since she, she took power. 10 years ago. And uh, Lynn, um, it's very interesting what you've just said because your assessment is in line with what some other experts have also said on the matter. In fact, several of them have called Hu's removal a sign of Xi Jinping's ruthless streak as a leader. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think, as I said, um, interpretations are, are almost personal, but um, this is nothing unusual in the history of the Chinese Communist Party. Um, we've had purges before, if you go back and look at official photographs from the 1970s uh, during Mao Zedong's era, um, people were, per were disappeared from photographs, Lin Biao, Peng De Huai, people who had been uh, very close on the inner circle, long marches, who then decided that they disagreed 
disagreed with what the great helmsman, Chairman Mao Zedong, had to say, and they completely disappeared. They disappeared from public life. Um, they were airbrushed out of photographs. They were never heard of again. And most recently, you might remember the tennis star, Peng Shui, made a complaint about a, uh, a senior Chinese Communist Party leader um, saying that she had been sexually assaulted by him, and she disappeared. So, you know, um, this is nothing unusual in the history of the Chinese Communist Party. It's just that maybe we haven't, we've not we become used to uh, China's government functioning a little bit more like a mature international government, governments of our own countries, perhaps. And this is harking back to the old days. Right, Lynn, thanks so much for all those inputs and thanks for joining us on Beyond at this hour. Thank you. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.